Hi there, Stanton here from Algo Trading. Welcome to the next video in our Build an Algo from Scratch series. In this video, what we're going to do, we're going to create our first EA. We're going to go through some of the main functions or handlers of the EA. And then show you how to attach an EA to the chart and print out results. Okay, so we're going to... Okay, in our last video we imported the starter template into our algo from scratch folder which if you wanted to you could have done that but now we're going to start building an EA from scratch literally. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say new file, we're going to say expert advisor from template, we're going to give it a name, we call it lesson one. And you could put in your copyright information and a link to your website if you want. I'm not going to add any parameters, we'll do that manually in the next lesson. But first, what I'm going to do is we're going to click next. We're not going to add any other event handlers, we're not going to add any test handlers, we're just going to say finish. So, as you could see, it put in the copyright information above here and then created these three properties which is normally the version numbers and the copyright and the link to your website. So the main three handlers or functions of an EA is the on init, the on d init and the on tech. The on init is what happens when you attach the expert advisor to a chart. So if you want to load any sort of um, indicators or anything here that you want to load as it gets attached to the chart, you'll put it into this on init function. The on d init is what happens when you remove the algo from a chart. So if you want to kill any um, indicators or deinitialize anything, this will be the area to do it. And the on tick is the main function or handler of an EA. This gets run every single time the price ticks. I'll show you that now once we put in some code. So what we're going to do, we're just going to print out results. So we go print and we say added EA to chart. We're just going to close that. Remember every time you add a line of code it must be cl closed or ended with a semicolon. On the init we're going to print removed EA from chart. Save that. I think we're good. And then on tech, what we're going to do each time this function is going to get called, we're going to say print ticked again. Okay. So we've got that, we're just going to compile this. You see there's no errors, no warnings, so we go back to our MetaQuotes software. I just want to clear. So we go to this expert tab and this gives you printouts of everything that happens within that expert. So what we're going to do now, we're going to attach this to the chart. I like trading the five minute chart. So I'm attaching it to the five minute chart. You can see lesson, lesson one, version one, and there's your copyright information. If you click there, it will link to your website and just say allow automated trading and allow modification of signal settings. So we say okay. As you can see here, it now logs the added EA to the chart. Now every time the price moves, see we ticked again. We ticked again. So every tick it logs, we ticked again. So basically, what this will do is that we check the price on every tick of the thing, and then you could decide whether to enter a trade, to exit a trade, what will happen on that on tick function. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from the chart 
and then with this log here we remove the EA from the chart okay well thank you for watching now you understand the on init function the on de init function and the on tick function in the next video we're going to be talking about parameters and how to create how to create parameters and use them with inside the algorithm thank you very much for watching goodbye